Well, this is what a rainbow power head looks like when it's all clogged up. People never check this. This is full of dog hair, muck, you name it. It's just nasty. The band aid. filter clean and actually I'm just dumping this in the trash can. I do have new side brushes coming. Those have been ordered. I normally wear gloves when I do this, but it was late. I will never understand why people spend a couple grand on a vacuum and then don't take care of it. You ought to see the main unit I'm fixing to show you. I'll come back to this. This is a piece of cake to get cleaned up. Too. It looks fairly, fairly good on the outside. This, uh, look how vivid that motor is. This HEPA filter has never been changed. Never. It's a wonder she was even cleaning anything. Look at this. This is just called neglect. Ugh. Mm -hmm. See all the dirt and grime. Never, never once cleaned. That's just caked up. Amazing. HEPA filter goes in the trash. Go inside to wash. To cut. Ugh, it's disgusting. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's a good machine. Yeah. Well, after I'm done with it, it'll run like a brand new. So I took the uh, graphics out, took the side panel off. I've shown this in a previous video, but all you need to do on the E2s, is two little tabs on the, each side. Hook everything just because it's easier. Just remember where your wires are plugged in at. This will need to be blown out. Ugh. This will have to be washed. Oops. How can forgive my shorts? The E1s are not as easy to take apart. I've kind of quit working on them because it's such a pain. And just remember, I've gone over this in a previous video, but remember where the fan blades go. This is nasty. I used to label them, but I'm pretty pretty good at remembering where they go. Yeah, and it stinks. It smells like dog. Let's 
So what I will do is connect this. So I will take this in, wash this, wash this, all this. I'm gonna let all this soak for a while. I just wanna rinse it off. I use very hot water, a little bit of Clorox in the water. Dawn dish detergent works great, or from all of any of those. Folks, this is what your inside of your motor looks like if you don't take care of it. Again, people think the water catches most of the dust and it does a really, really good job, but you still have to you still have to take care of your machine. That she may have she may have she may have knocked this over on its side. I mean there is so much caked in dirt in that. That's crazy. She never took the separator off. That's why you have to take this off and clean it. But Again, this is what I told y'all. This is what the inside of a motor housing looks like. So, yeah, rainbows are great. They're good machines, but you still have to take care of them, and you can't suck up a lot of fine dust. You have to keep the water changed. I mean, you get a, a muddy water, it's not going to catch all this fine dust. That's why they put a uh, HEPA filter on the back of them, too. So, you have to... You have to yeah. You have to change that separator every once in a while, too. See how that came off? Just caked on dirt. I know some of y'all probably going, Oh my God, he's cleaning his sink. I will Clorox his sink. I don't have a sink, sink in the shop out there, so my kitchen sink has to do. Alright, I'm going to let all this soak. TV. I'll also clean all this out, wipe it down with alcohol, clean it up really good. The machine will look brand new when I'm done with it, but she let her dog chew on the um, latches. I've got new latches coming. to see a machine abused. I'll be back. Our turn? Yeah, we go left right here. Great adventures or I know some have asked and I should have put this on. But these little flat fan blades, I use a tiny brush that you can purchase. I think I got this at container store. Um, it came in a set. I've got a big one and then I've also got a little wire one too this is how I clean the fan blades so you can use pipe cleaner this just lasts a whole lot longer get it all the way in there wiggle it around but I clean each little compartment because you can't really take these fan blades apart and that's how I do that 
I'm going to do that on all three, plus clean out the housing as well. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Somebody asked me about that. Um, but use whatever you got. Like I said, I've got, I purchased this little brush set a while back and it does really great. Make sure to rinse it and you'll let it all air dry. Try to check these, make sure they're good. see everything's been cleaned I scrubbed this still has a little bit of stuff on it I'm gonna have to get some kind of um, something heavy duty to get that in. it's not dirt it's just stained and even the fan blades I showed y'all how to take a wire brush and clean those out the blades still look discolored um, but they are clean and sanitized there's no dirt in there um, I guess just over the years it's it stains it just like it would anything this is aluminum so all I'm gonna do now now that I've shown y'all how to clean the blades all of that stuff is just reassemble the motor now so this is your main motor housing um, a little bit of water or alcohol still left in there is you've got a couple little things washer first fan blade, middle fan blade, and then the last fan blade. That is all there is to putting these blades back. Now, on the uh, bottom of the flange, there's a little, make sure that I got this in here right. Y'all can see this. little washer that goes around just make sure when you put this unit back together there's a little lip here make sure that is on the right side of the motor and all you do is bolt it back together three bolts that's it I like this better than the old clamp style that tight barely tighten it and I'll just make sure everything's clean machine go out of here I wouldn't even use it in my own house if everything had not been cleaned because you don't know what other people have been using sucking up I don't know other people's dirt if I get a bagged unit I make sure that the people throw the bag away because I don't want their dirt that's it that's all there is to taking the motor apart putting everything back together looks like a different machine now <laughs> 